All right, so the guys at Yumu DG sent this phone over for me to look into. It's called the Yumu DG Power 7S. It will cost you 57,000 Naira on Jumia. The Yumu DG Power 7S I'm holding here runs stock Android 11 on a Unisoc T310 chipset. And this chipset is paired with 4 gigs of RAM with 64 gigs of data storage. And it will interest you to know that both SIMs on this phone support 4G network. This is very good because it is something you will hardly see on a 57,000 Naira device. Yumu DG has a set of people in mind when they made this smartphone. Those who are looking for a phone that is budget friendly. But what do you have inside the box? Well, right on top is the phone itself placed inside the transparent protective case. And on the wrapping, you have the key specs of the device. The envelope beneath holds the SIM ejector and inside is a paperwork. At the bottom, you have a 10 watt fast charger and a USB Type-C cable. So when the company reached out to me about this phone, I intentionally chose the blue color. In other words, there are other colors like gold, like black you can also pick from. So you have this pattern design on the back of the smartphone. It is plastic back cover, it is heavy, and that's because of the big battery capacity that is made to last you for many days. And I also noticed that the body is, is curved, which makes the holding of the smartphone comfortable for you to hold. At the bottom, you have the USB Type-C port, the speaker, and the first mic, while on top, you have a 3.5mm jack and a second mic. On the left hand side you have the sim card slot and like i said earlier the phone is capable of two 4g sims the other button below is customizable if you use them for screenshots and for launching of camera and many other things the phone not get fingerprint sensor so on the right you have the volume buttons and power button the yumu dg power 7s has a 6.7 hd plus resolution and notch inside the display is the 8 megapixel selfie camera the face the phone can do face unlock for security purpose although it does so slowly moving to the rear around the back you have the 16 megapixel selfie camera with a secondary sensor of 8 megapixel but from my experience of using this camera so far i've noticed that the selfie camera is sharper than the 16 megapixel on the rear and so many times that i tried it's easy for me to take good clean pictures, crisp pictures with the selfie camera than I ever did with the rear camera. The rear camera is not entirely bad, just that it lacks that sharpness. The front camera is more sharper. And most time I struggle with the rear camera to take good pictures. So the 8 megapixel selfie camera is the best bet on this smartphone when you want to take crisp images. Then aside from this camera, the phone also gets big battery capacity. We're talking of 6150 mAh. So if you charge this phone full, it can last you for a couple of days and the batch never die. The 4 gigs of RAM is good for budget friendly. It's, since it's something cheaper, there are certain things you are expected to do with this smartphone and you do so very well at it. Then you also have the 64 gigs of internal storage. Now when you compare this phone to other budget friendly or entry level smartphone in the market like from ITE, you have 2 gigs of RAM or 3 gigs of RAM and they are somehow more expensive than these 4 gigs of RAM. So this one made the Yumu DG being budget friendly at the price point of 57,000 Naira with a 4G connectivity and big battery capacity to be a good choice to buy if you are looking for something budget to consider consider buying. And then the fact if you charge and go take for a very long time down a plus on the part of the smartphone. So there are certain areas the camera the company can fix. First of all, the selfie camera Sometimes I feel like I see them mistakenly swap the back for the front and the front for the back because the front selfie camera is more sharper than what you have on the rear camera. Then if you also think of big battery, you also consider this one too. The other area where they could fix up is making adding uh, a fingerprint for additional security purpose aside from the slow uh, face unlock system. So if you are type that WhatsApp, and watch youtube and do some meetings on zoom this phone can conveniently take you it can get slow if you're an expert that tries to do something faster since it's a budget friendly devi device there are other smartphones above 100k that will be perfectly fit for you if you are 
the high-end type. But this for budget entry-level lovers who want something that is uh, 4G and with big battery without spending or breaking the bank, this would be a good choice for them to consider. So that's all about the Umodi G Power 7S. Let me know what you think about this smartphone in the comment section. I remember it's now available on Jumia. You can place your order right away. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around in my next one.